Hey guys, what's up? It's Brandy here, and today I have a ridiculous Ulta haul for you all. If you didn't know, I do work at Ulta, and this weekend is Employee Appreciation, where we get a little bit more discount than we usually do, so we all like to take advantage of it and stock up on our favorites and try new things out. So I'm going to show you all what I got. I got way too much stuff and I have a feeling that I'll end up buying a little bit more before the weekend's out. But let's just jump right into this. I also went to Target. I'll show you. I just got a, like a few things but I'll show you what I got from there as well. So to start off I got this bad boy. Oh my goodness. If you love cherries this stuff, it's the Philosophy Bath Wash, like the 3-in-1. I just use it for a shower gel. <coughs> I just got like a really weird cough before the video started. <coughs> Anyways, <clears throat> it's called Have a Cherry Christmas, and it is so pretty. Like, it's this iridescent, like, guys... The stuff smells like heaven. And if there's one left tomorrow, I think I'm going to buy it. Because this is like seriously my favorite, favorite, favorite. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's my favorite. If you haven't guessed, it's my favorite. Love it. And it only comes out Christmas time. Next, I got... Got some more Saint Tropez. I haven't had this stuff in over a year now, so I figured it was time to go ahead and just buy another one because I'm actually almost out of my Fake Bake Flawless Darker, and I thought I'd give this another go because I knew. I what? I thought I'd give it another go. I thought I'd give it another go because I remember how much I loved it. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out again. And I'm sorry for like the mess. What are you gonna do? Oh, and this is the receipt by the way, like jeez. I then got some true match from L'Oreal and I got it in N3 natural buff because I am planning on tanning, so this is a little bit darker than like my skin because I'm pretty pretty fair so I figured I would get the darker shade and if I like it in this shade I'm gonna wear it tomorrow and if I like it in this shade I'm gonna go ahead and grab a lighter shade hope I like it because um, a lot of people talk about this so go give it a go oh, it just fell on the floor I'm on the floor I also got this really cute I'm gonna take these off because I'm wearing this tomorrow this really cute, like, headband, like, you know, those that keep you, your ears warm. Like, look how cute. <laughs> I love it so much. It's, like, really cute and just, like, chill. And it's going to keep my ears warm. And it looks cute against my hair color. And I just love it so much. And then I've got my most favoritest ever hair mask. Well, I use it as just a normal conditioner. Mm. Hair mess. This stuff, guys, this stuff is the best, 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 best conditioner I've ever used. And it smells, oh, God, it smells so freaking good. I am, I've never had a conditioner smell this good. This actually lives up to the hype so definitely give this a try. This is the Wella Professionals Brilliance Find a Normal Treatment for Find a Normal Colored Hair. It's fantastic. And I just use this as a conditioner. Then I got me the Bedhead uh, Urban Antidotes, the Level 2 Conditioner and um, Shampoo and Conditioner. Because I bought the level 3, which is for super damaged hair, and I wanted to just go ahead and try this out. These are $3 a piece, which is really, really good. And they're perfect for stocking stuffers if you want to 
buy some. They have like half of the line from TG, which is awesome because TG is amazing. I also got the Bare Minerals Party Starters. Uh, three piece party perfect eye color collection. This is three pigments. These aren't full size pigments. Um, they are a little bit smaller than the normal size pigment. I think, yeah. The, yeah, these are just, these are a little bit smaller. I thought they were full size, but I was wrong. But these are really pretty, pretty colors. One's a like goldenish, like antique gold color it's really pretty one is like this pretty shimmery sparkly purple but like a darker purple and then one is like this mauvey silver champagne type of color it's really pretty then I got my long awaited because we have had it out for like three months now ever since we got the freaking product in in the first place we've had it out and I haven't been able to purchase it but I finally have received mine well I finally purchased it it's the Becca shimmering skin perfector in opal oh my goodness if you ever want to splurge on a I just lost my words. If you ever want to splurge on a highlighter, definitely go with this one. This is the prettiest highlight I've ever, 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 ever used. It's gorgeous. Get you some. Moving on, I purchased a good amount of Napoleon because there was a sale on it. It was 70, It's 75% off. And then I had my discount over the top of that. So I was like, dang, girl, get it, get it, get it, get it. So I got the Napoleon Paradise Eyebrow Pencil in Pale Rider. And that's one that I had swatched on my hand. You can't really see it. It's just a blonde eyebrow pencil. Don't know if I like it. Never tried it. But I decided to try it anyways. Then I got the... Neo Neor Liquid Liner in Black. I bought two of them because I have been in desperate need of new liquid liner. Then I got a lip pencil and this is in... Uh, this is in Rococo Red. And this is another one that I had swatched on my hand. And it's just a true red. Like it is not too blue and not too um, orange based which is my favorite type of red to wear. I think it looks best on my skin tone. Uh, so yeah, love it. And then I went ahead and picked up another Mita Concealer Pen in Mellow Yellow. I have, I've been told that this is very comparable to one that MAC carries, like a highlight concealer. So I picked up five NYX lip liners. I went ahead and picked up another Peekaboo Neutral. This was the one that I used in my campfire inspired, the one that I was like, I don't remember the name. But then I remembered it and it is literally the prettiest neutral. Then I went ahead and picked up a, just a couple more colors. I picked up Burgundy. I picked up mahogany. I guess I'll do swatches of these on my hands. So this is burgundy. Right here. This one is mahogany. Kind of get a little bit closer. I know it's not going to focus. But I'm trying, people. I'm trying. This one is mauve. Ooh. These stay on so well, too. This one right here. I'll do a close-up of these, I guess, because you really can't see them at all. And then I've got Prune, which is a purple lip liner. And it's so pretty. And I've got all dark lip colors because I don't really have many um, lip liners to begin with. And, yeah, I just figured that I'd go ahead and grab a few of those. And then, last two things here I picked up were these two prestige eyeshadows. I, what's her name, Melissa Autry, I think that's her last name. She is the funniest lady here on, on YouTube. Like, she is so funny. She's so southern. And, I mean, I'm, I'm southern, but, like, not half as southern as she is. Like, she is freaking southern. And it, she is so funny to watch. And she's just a... A funny, just, I don't know, you guys have to check her out. You probably already know who she is. 
she's great um and she talked about a prestige eyeshadow called bewitched it is the really pretty color like it's like this green lavender champagne shift it, it's weird it's a weird shadow so i went ahead and picked up two more because they are a little bit expensive for drugstore eyeshadows they're like ten dollars a piece which is kind of ridiculous if you ask me but they are super like super pigmented eyeshadows they're super like creamy not no fallout really it's just oh ooh, that's pretty this one is called wow i like that that's what it's called this one is called spellbound and it's dang it this is just not working let me zoom it in i'm gonna zoom it in like all in my face and then you'll be able to see it. I don't know if you can see it. I swatched it in a weird spot. Let me put it on this edge of my hand. Really? You really can't... I don't know. It's not really picking it up. It's like this... It's almost like a salmon-y, goldish, almost green as well. It's really pretty. Just go out and try these eyeshadows because you won't be disappointed. And this is from the long-term, these are called long-term relationship, Fierce Color Eyeshadow. And then this one is the True Metals Eyeshadow in the color Copper. And I feel like I might have something similar to this. Holy freaking crap. This is so pigmented oh my gosh i wish they sold these in freaking palettes because oh, do you see that holy cr crap and noly why is my camera dying what this eyeshadow is super duper pigmented and again that is the color copper and this is the true metals eyeshadow and these are both called from it's both from prestige cosmetics and also went ahead while my why I had to reformat my freaking camera not my camera but my card I went ahead and picked up these um, things from around my room so I could show you the other bedhead products that I got not this um, trip but a previous trip like last week so this is the small talk, which this is almost as big as the full size, and this is three dollars. And I couldn't even imagine finishing this up, let alone that big bottle, which is seventeen dollars. Then I got a little baby mas mini masterpiece. This hairspray smells like pineapple, and I am in love. And it's just amazing hairspray, and I love it, love it, love it. Then again, I got the two shampoo and conditioner, um, level three, and this smells so good. Like, if you have never tried any of the bedhead stuff, like, just go smell it and you'll be sold because they, all of their products smell amazing. And then I got this manipulator, and this is the mini one, and holy crap, this stuff, guys, is amazing. If you want kind of, like, PC textured hair, this stuff is amazing for that. Also, like, the beachy waves, it's great for that. But it's good if you have your hair curled, and then they kind of call, and then they kind of fall out a little bit. Kind of like my hair. I don't have this in it today, but I do have this in it. None of them are going to make your hair sticky or anything. Just, Bedhead is just amazing. Like, it has my heart. I've use our shampoo now I use also use another shampoo I have like big liters of it in my bathroom it's the what is that something color goddess that's what it does it smells like freaking birthday cake holy freaking crap guys it's just amazing try out their products and you won't regret it so from enough of me rambling I bought a few things from Target oh also from Ulta. I bought some of the 5 for 5 stuff. I literally just got four nail clippers and then some tweezers because tweezers are on point. Literally the freaking best tweezers I've ever used and they're only a dollar if you get five of the little 5 for 5 things. Just letting you guys know. 
Then I went over to Target and I bought four things here. I bought a new little Vaseline lip therapy. This one is in creme brulee, but honestly it smells just like the other one. It smells like the original Vaseline lip therapy, so don't let it fool you. But I love these little things. I love popping them around my like room, just to, like pick up when I need it, putting them around the house. Just great stuff. Then I got a e.l.f. pencil sharpener. I've never used these, but I really need a new one because I'm using an Urban Decay one and I've already lost like the top of it and it's just like a mess and I'm not going to throw this one away because it's a really good sharpener and it's also really expensive, but I just needed another one to go along with it. Then, how exciting, new mascara. I love, I'm like staring at the viewfinder. I apologize. I love mascara. If there was one thing that I could only ever wear, it would be mascara because mascara just like transforms your face. Also brows. Like brows and mascara. That'd be my thing. Brows and mascara because, oh my gosh, I love it so much. So... I happen to run across two new mascaras that I haven't heard anybody talk about that I've seen. I really haven't been on YouTube. Like, I haven't, like, checked any new YouTube videos here in a little while because I've been super busy. But it is the Full Lash Bloom Mascara from CoverGirl. And this is Touchably Soft Full Lashes. Apparently the... Apparently... Oh god. <laughs> if you've seen that video, like give this video a thumbs up because that is my favorite video of all time. This mascara is made with natural beeswax. It provides volume that stays soft to the touch all day. I never understood that you're not touching your eyelashes throughout the day, so I don't understand having to have touchable lashes, but I'm going to give this a try because I love Lash Blast, any of the Lash Blast, Lash Blast line, so I'm going to give this a try, and it's pretty packaging, it has flowers on it, and then I've picked up a new Maybelline mascara, this is the Maybelline Lash, Lash, Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Volume Mascara. And this is a liquid black formula. Black is black. Mm. Sensual. Scandalous. Anyways, this one just says, Our unique open fan brush and fresh liquid formula capture a volume, capture and volumize lashes from root to tip. Apparently, I need to go back to kindergarten. So yeah. It's very exciting. I like kind of the curved brushes. I feel like I really just like ba make sure lashes look amazing. So I honestly have bought way too much makeup today. Uh, oh my goodness. I don't know what to say about this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know what your favorite time of the year is. Mine is Christmas, obviously, not because of the gifts, but I love just the cold weather, and I love all the Christmas lights, and I love all the Christmas movies. I've been listening to Christmas music all freaking month, and I've been watching Christmas movies every single night with my mom, which it's been awesome, pretty much every night. Like, I'm just like... I love it. I love Christmas. I already got Christmas decorations up over here. I already got a Christmas tree up. Like, oh, Christmas is my favorite time of the year. I'm sorry, I keep saying that. But let me know what your favorite time of the year is. And also, let me know what your favorite mascara is. Because, dude, let's be honest, I would probably buy every single one of your suggestions. So, let me know. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!